Hi Boots, long time no see. I know we haven't done a DJ Kiki Boots video in a while, but I stand before you today because I watched a really cool video from the PBS Idea channel, YouTube channel, uh, and I had some thoughts and I just wanted to sort of spit them at you and see what you have to say. So, so the video that I watched is called Is Pleasure the Secret to a Good Life? and it's one of their thought experiment videos, which I think is pretty new. And it talks a lot about hedonistic values of pleasure and whether or not pleasure is all that is required in order to have a good and fulfilling life. And you really should watch that video before you watch this video, just to give you some context, and otherwise things that I'm saying might not make any sense to you at all. But I'm pretty sure kind of like the overarching conclusion of the PBS video was that just pleasure is not enough to have a happy, good, fulfilling life. You need something more than that, and that is authenticity and reality and realism uh, and that sort of stuff. So I started thinking about how that idea and those concepts could be applied to our as a community and society and generation obsession with social media and watching YouTube videos and watching vlogs and just like listening to people talk about their day, something that maybe isn't super exciting, but we will still watch hours and hours and hours of videos of someone else talking about something that they did, not something that you did. Okay, I'm gonna jump right into this. So one way that we experience pleasure is by living sort of vicariously through someone else, like escaping the reality that we are in and putting ourselves into other people's shoes that have a more favorable or exciting or whatever kind of reality that we desire on some level. We do this all the time by reading books and seeing movies and plays and interacting with fictional works. The Idea Channel talks about that lot. We thoroughly and willingly immerse ourselves into these fantastical and fictional stories. And then when they're done, we sort of re-emerge thinking, oh man, that was so great. I loved Harry Potter. Too bad it wasn't real. So that's one type of very obvious vicarious experience. But I would argue in comparison with others, it's not the kind of experience that's really going to lead you to a full and happy life because of the lack of authenticity or like realistic realism, reality. So even though interacting with a work of fiction is a very pleasurable experience, it doesn't have the authenticity or the sense of reality uh, that we need to kind of build a fulfilling and good life. So in my mind, pleasurable experiences and authentic or real experiences kind of like yin and yang. Uh, if you need both of them to have a good life, then you want to have an experience that's as pleasurable as possible considering the reality of the situation or how real the situation is. That's why I would put fictional stories at kind of like the end of the spectrum where pleasure is very high and reality is very, very low. I feel like the way to balance those out the most in that context is by acting, whether that's on a stage or just like acting out the fictional situation in your mind and sort of like ad-libbing and putting your own take on it and putting yourself in the story and saying what you would do differently instead. Then somewhere more in the middle of the spectrum, we have celebrities and stories that come from entertainment figures in our lives. Celebrities are people who have lives that are completely different from ours, okay? Like we might be able to get there at some point, maybe, probably not, but like the stuff that they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is like wild and like I can't really relate to it at all, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention that celebrities basically personify everything that our society tells us we should value, like beauty, fame, money, popularity, success, money, all that stuff. So we look at them as sort of like a distant ideal state. The likelihood that I am ever going to be a pop singer is very, very slim. 
You know, most people aren't going to be famous. Most people are not going to make it to Hollywood, but someone will, and that's a greater number than the person who's going to wake up one day and Hagrid's gonna be knocking on their door saying, you're a wizard, Mora. So anyways, living vicariously through a celebrity leaves a little less of a synthetic taste in your mouth than if you were to live vicariously through a fictional character. But now we have something in our lives that moves us even farther up the spectrum to a much more balanced yin and yang of authenticity and reality and pleasure. What is it? What could it be? I have no idea. Just kidding, yes you do. I basically told you at the beginning of the video, it's social media. So now we can go on sites like Instagram and YouTube and wherever else and see and hear stories from real people who are very similar to us, telling us these cool stories of things that they actually did. We can now live vicariously through something that seems a lot more realistic and attainable than something out of a tabloid magazine. We can interact with these people. These people seem way more relatable than someone like Taylor Swift, not just because of the things that they're doing, but because we can comment and they might actually reply. We can keep up with their day-to-day -day lives and like what happens over the course of their year and what sort of things they go through and how they think and what they're feeling and all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, even if their world is different than ours, which is definitely part of the appeal, we still see it as a world closer to our own because at least we know when John Green sits in front of a camera, there wasn't a whole makeup team behind him. It's so easy to step away from a YouTube video and think, that was real, they're a real person, that could be real for me too. Also, a little side note, that's obviously why a lot of celebrities use social media a whole lot, is to make them more relatable and to seem just like you, so you keep consuming their content and don't lose touch with them. So they make the money. So yeah, I think that kind of encapsulates all my thoughts on the yin and yang between authenticity and pleasure and how that plays into our rabid consumption of social media. <laughs> okay, Boots, so ball's in your court now. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about my thoughts, and if you wanna do a more traditional DJ Kinky Boots style video, uh, pick a video done by the PBS Idea channel um, and share your thoughts with me about that. Also, good luck with all your final papers and shit. You're gonna kill it. It's gonna be great. Bye.